Welcome back to the tool shed. This is called the open floor plan and I credit my friend, Scott Schaffman. Scott, thank you for this. Because in our work together, he came up with this idea and I've been running with it ever since. So if you grew up like me in the 70s and 80s, you grew up in a home that had lots of small rooms. That was just the way houses were designed in the previous century. I don't know when it changed, but it changed. Back then though, you know, we had a small dining room and a small living room and a small kitchen and the hallway and um, lots of other rooms. And it just felt very compartmentalized as I look back on it. And I never thought about it until Scott pointed it out. And yet today, that's not how my house looks. I don't know about yours, but more often than not, we have open floor plans. I mean, that's even boasted about on, you know, the specs for a new home, an open floor plan. Nobody boasts about a closed off floor plan. We, we knock down walls that aren't retaining walls to open up the space. So in my house, like probably yours, or certainly you know what I'm talking about, you walk in and yeah, there's a room off to the right and left, but even those are have big French doors. And then you go into the space that we knocked down the wall that was between the living room and the kitchen. So it's a far more open feel. What does this have to do with anything other than maybe, you know, if you're an architect, everything, because, when I work with people or in my own life, I, we all tend towards the closed floor plan. Why? Because life is hard. Life is scary. The world is a difficult, if not dangerous place. And so we put up walls all day, every day from the time we're little kids because walls pr protect us or at least we perceive they protect us. I would argue in the end, they really hurt us. And so we start erecting all these walls within our lives in all kinds of ways. Let me give you an example of this. I work with a lot of guys, as I'm sure you know, not surprising, and I run Men's Uprising. Um, and a lot of guys put up these walls between their work and their home life, or at least they perceive they put up the walls. So they'll tell me about who they are and how they are at work. And then they'll talk, tell me about who they are and how they are at home. And those are different rooms. Like one's a kitchen and one's a bathroom, right? And you can probably guess which one's the bathroom. So our work together is to get them to see that there's a price you pay for compartmentalizing your life, for putting up those walls because you live a life divided. As a teacher of mine, Parker Palmer, a Quaker teacher, has a great book called An Undivided Life. When we live a life divided, we pay a price. These people over here get this version of us, and these people over here get this version of us, and we become fractured. We become depleted. Try holding that together. Right? You gotta almost tell lies to keep that going because you're withholding parts of yourself. I'm not saying you bear all to everybody at work, and I'm not saying you go into you know, work mode at home. But let's take that as an example, because a lot of the guys I counsel, they go home and they feel like employees or second class citizens and they don't bring their mastery to that space. They don't feel like masters in that domain. So they're a very different person over there. They go to work and they're oftentimes much more intense or even angry because of all this going on at home and vice versa, or they go home and they think they left work behind them. They didn't leave work behind them. And so all of those walls end up coming down. The question is, do we take them down proactively or do they come crumbling down? So the work that I do, especially with men, is to understand you can live in life of an open floor plan where you can stop pretending to be this in that setting and that in another setting, but learn how to open up your life, how to create mastery across the board, how to stop hiding fundamental pieces of yourself because people see it anyways. We think we compartmentalize these rooms when in fact you just hear in the wall next to you, right? The yelling, the bickering of mom and dad behind the scenes. Open up the floor plan. Think in terms of wholeness and no longer hiding who you are. Bringing all that stuff that's there out to the forefront. I grew up in a home, not only with physical tons of walls, but also emotionally. We didn't talk about my grandmother's mental illness and her suicide. We didn't talk about um, my, my gay cousin and the fact that he was gay. We weren't allowed to talk about it. We didn't talk about all the divorces that were happening in my family. It was a lot of shh. And we all knew it. I was a kid. I felt it. We paid a heavy price for it. My dad ended up following in his mother's footsteps, killing her, himself. 
I won't say it's only because of that, but I do believe if he could have had an open floor plan, we could have brought these conversations into the family domain. He wouldn't have felt like he's this guy at work and this guy at home. So the open floor plan is a conceptual way to start thinking about how you can live a more holistic life, an open life where you don't have to compartmentalize so much and you're this way with your buddies and you're this way with your wife and you're this way with your kids and you're this way with your employees and so on and so forth. That's a fractured life. That's a divided life. And you will pay a price for living that type of life for long enough. The ultimate prices I've seen is you lose access to those other rooms. You forget they're even there. And in the process, you've made your life very small. You are so much more than your work or your marriage or your parenting or fill in the blank. You are all of those things, but you are beyond all those things. You are the whole house. Those are just pieces of you. Get back to your full identity. Explore what that means by working on the open floor plan. Literally sit down and create a blueprint of how you are now, what your home looks like, so to speak, and the home that you want to create by bringing down those walls and opening it up so you can go out into the world and live a holistic life. And with that, I will see you in the next tool.